What is up guys? I'm Joshua Weissman and today we're going to talk about one of the greatest sandwiches of all time. The Croc Madame. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Now, if you're one of those people that's like, Josh, what the f is a croque madame? Don't just be throwing these weird words at me. That doesn't sound particularly appetizing. But let me explain this to you, all right? I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to educate you. A croque monsieur, I'm gonna get to the madame, just bear with me. And if you would like to skip this part, please, by all means, skip this part. So a croque monsieur is essentially a French ham and cheese sandwich, all right? It's made like a grilled cheese, but it has ham in it. And the thing that takes it from zero to hero is the beautiful layer of bechamel that's poured on top and then broiled until beautifully bubbly and caramelized and it's it's amazing okay that's a croque monsieur now once you add a fried egg on top then it becomes a croque madame first things first we're going to start our bechamel to do that you're going to heat two cups of whole milk over medium heat until it reaches a steamy heat don't bring this to a boil, we just want it to be hot. Optionally, you can add a bay leaf to steep in this milk. Don't forget to open your jar of nutmeg only to realize that you're gonna add it later. Next, you're gonna add four tablespoons of unsalted butter in a pan over medium heat. Once the butter is fully melted, you're gonna add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Whisk the butter and flour together until it forms a cohesive paste and you're just gonna cook this a little bit just to cook out some of that starchy, floury taste. And you'll do that for about one to two minutes, whisking constantly. This is called a roux. Now at this point, you can remove the bay leaf from your milk and you can add your milk in batches, whisking in between, just to make sure everything gets incorporated. You don't wanna add the milk all at once, just add it a little bit by little bit until all of the milk is incorporated. Once all of the milk is added, just let it sit and simmer for a little bit to allow the flour to fully thicken it. The bechamel is done once you reach a consistency similar to this. Next, one of the most important pieces to this recipe is the bread. Now you can use any standard white bread if you like to, but I chose to use one of my homemade sourdough loaves. You can also go to a local bakery and pick up a nice sourdough loaf. That's what I would personally recommend. It just has a lot more flavor and a nice texture. Next, on the inside of two slices of bread, you're gonna spread a teaspoon of whole grain mustard on each slice. I chose whole grain Dijon. Now for the assembly. Now what you're gonna wanna do is get a really good quality Gruyere cheese. This is the best one that I could find. It was a little expensive, so you don't have to go all out, but I would recommend finding a nice one. Now without losing the tips of your fingers, you're gonna grate a pretty generous amount of Gruyere cheese on the bottom slice. I would say about a half cup of grated cheese here. Next, you've got your ham. This is actually a French ham that I found at Central Market, but you can use any ham that you like. And just layer a pretty decent amount of ham, depending on your liking. Don't overdo it because then your sandwich is gonna be too big. And there's really nothing more dissatisfying as not being able to fit a sandwich in your mouth. Now you might have thought we were done with the cheese, but I guarantee you we're not even halfway done with that. So you're gonna grate some more cheese, about a third a cup of grated cheese over the ham before you add your top slice. Just kidding, still not satisfied with the amount of cheese that was on there already, apparently. Hit it with just a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper, top your sandwich with the other slice, and lightly press down to sort of compact all those ingredients in there. Now, if you understand how to make a grilled cheese, you will be able to do this part just fine. You're gonna melt about two tablespoons of butter in a preheated pan over medium heat, and then you're gonna add your sandwich in and toast it for about two to three minutes per side or until it's nice and brown and crispy. Once that side is toasted, we're just gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side. Just make sure to flip it carefully so the sandwich doesn't open up. You wanna keep all those ingredients nice and tight in there. Now that our sandwich is toasted on both sides, I'm gonna place it on a broiler sheet or a sheet tray, whatever works for you. And then for the piece de resistance, you're gonna pour your bechamel over the sandwich. Now you're just gonna pour enough to coat the top and have it dribble down the sides a little bit. Don't overdo it. This bechamel should be enough for about three to four sandwiches. You didn't think that I wouldn't add more cheese, did you? Because we're adding more cheese. And we're gonna do another half cup grated on top. Now you're gonna take this beautiful masterpiece and place it underneath your broiler for about 10 minutes. Now this time is give or take, just go by sight. When it looks nice and caramelized and not black, 
and all the cheese is melted, you're good to go. Now while that's going, I'm gonna thinly slice some fresh chives, and I'm gonna get a skillet with two tablespoons of butter over medium heat, and now we're gonna fry our egg. Once your butter is melted and bubbling, you're gonna add your egg whole into the pan. Now you're gonna leave that at medium heat. You're gonna notice that the outside whites are gonna start to cook, but the inside whites covering the egg yolk are still uncooked. And so what I do to combat that is I flick the hot butter onto the uncooked whites to get them to cook faster. And this way you protect the egg yolk from getting overcooked. So the egg yolk is still nice and melty and the whites will be fully cooked. Once all of the whites are set, you're gonna remove your fried egg from the pan and just place it to the side on a plate. Now make sure you're keeping an eye on that labor of love that's underneath your broiler right now. Once the cheese is melted and it's a little bit caramelized, you're good to go. Now all you gotta do is pull it out of the oven, top it with your fried egg, Garnish it with your freshly sliced chives, and finish it with some freshly cracked black pe 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 <clears throat> pepper. It's a tongue. It's a tongue twister. And a final unveiling for your viewing and tongue pleasure. No, wait, no. Hey, here. Alright guys, and that is it. I mean, this is... This is hands down one of my most favorite sandwiches of all time. It always has been, it always will be. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next week.